we slept last night. All right, Miss Cools, let's uh, get this rental car return. Let's get on our bikes. Let's climb over that mountain. Then let's pitch our tent and go back to sleep. I like the sound of that. I'm just wondering about that highway tomorrow. That looks a little, could be a little busy. Yeah, I think, think it's uh, gonna start out being a little busy and uh -huh. then it'll get quieter. So I think that there will be a section that'll get a little sketchy with semis. Well, this is not what I consider ideal bike touring, but hopefully uh, it's only 60 miles of this. Hopefully it'll get better once we get on to the little town of Helper. The views aren't bad.
into this little town. Oh, it's adorable. It's amazing finding that town. It's a little bit tucked up. Yeah. Historic. Out here in the middle of the desert. Ready for some coffee? Oh yeah. Even though it's like 90 degrees. Oh, yeah. How did you know? It's exactly 90 degrees. No way. Uh huh. Cool. It's like you just. Well, we've arrived at our stopping point for today. We are in the town of Price, Utah, which is just off of the 89, which leads out of Salt Lake City, Utah. And uh, I think we're gonna stay here for tonight. The ride from Utah to here was something that Miss Cools found on a cycling website. That's right. What was the name of the website? Do you remember? It was, I don't remember. I'll have to look it up. But we'll put a link or something uh, down below so those of you who might be interested in this in this route you can check it out now my impression was i don't do a lot of heavy duty highway miles normally so for me it felt it didn't feel dangerous but it felt it was pretty intimidating it was intimidating that's Is that a good word yeah that's exactly how i felt yeah i mean it wasn't it's kind of i have mixed feelings about it i probably wouldn't do it again but I didn't hate it either. You know, there was a lot of beautiful scenery. There was just a lot of truck traffic and then some parts the shoulder was narrow. It was never so narrow that you felt like you needed to be in the lane, but there were a few spots, uh, especially on that last eight mile downhill when we were coming into the town of Helper that felt a little sketchy and we were getting a headwind. So it was a little hard to keep that pace going, but, and there was lots of rubber tires on the shoulder we had to avoid and so it was it was interesting yeah yeah the think? scenery was beautiful but it was a bit nerve-wracking at times uh, and there was a lot of traffic going through the shoulder was pretty big most of the way so um and the pavement was yeah. actually pretty smooth that's true yeah so it felt fast the climbs were gradual there was a, several climbs in the beginning they were around four percent they were very gradual and you just you could easily find a you know a, a rhythm yeah to get through it so and it was pretty warm i feel i can feel the heat too a little uh -huh. dehydrated it's setting in I, between the heat of the day and the headwind mm -hmm. i think that uh, is kind of setting in now yeah so hopefully we'll get a good night's sleep here and then tomorrow we can finish our way down to what's that city called green river green river yeah okay and then from there we branch off and we're gonna head through the desert. Yeah. Hopefully, and get some more interesting stuff. That's right. Okay, where are we going today, Miss Coles? Oh, we're going to uh, Green River. Green River, Utah. All right, what day is it? Friday. And how's your bike holding up? Good. I had a couple flats, but seemed to have resolved that. Okay, how many miles today? Uh, about 70. Right. About 70 miles. Okay, thanks for the check-in. Sure.
out here in the desert. <laughs> crushing it. Yeah. Well, Mr. Wildberry, I got a little tip that if we were to come through Green River, Utah, that we were to stop at the Vitier Melon Signs because they have the world's best melons here. Okay. Shall we? All right, let's go give them a try. We'll be the judge of that. <laughs> okay. look for when you select melon? Firmness and uh, suppleness. Okay. Gotta check the suppleness on the melons. Okay. Oh, they feel pretty supple. Yeah, yeah I think those, will, those, those will are, these are the ones. Okay. Let's, let's get them. made it to our destination for today and uh, it was a little bit hotter today wasn't it? I think so. It got up to 90. How about this? 93. 93. Yeah oh, it hit 93 yeah. in the shade. That's what the thermometer in the shade said. That's right. It did. Uh, it doesn't feel yeah. like it though. It didn't. So we uh, found some burritos and some melons and now we've got our tent set up over here for the night. And the uh, plan is to get up really early tomorrow. We're going to really make an effort to do it this time. We keep saying we're going to get up early, but uh -huh. we always sleep in for another hour, it seems like, huh? Oh, yeah. So we're going to try our best because tomorrow we need to get, we want to get through the last major highway section tomorrow uh, in time before the heat sets in. That's right. right. And then we want to check out the one of the national parks. Here's our little tent. Somebody snagged our table. Our table's gone. Oh. Do we have anything on it? No. Maybe I'll see it. You think that one? Huh. Alright, well we don't have a plan for tomorrow. We have a couple of options for our route tomorrow, but uh, we just talked to the camper behind us over here and he gave us some tips on the highway, suggesting that it's pretty sketchy mm -hmm. to get to Moab. And uh, it's, there's a lot of traffic. A lot of people are going down there, I guess. So we have an option to ride through a very remote dirt road, which sounds great. That'll cut off most of the highway. Uh, but then after that, we're not sure where we're gonna go. We, yeah. we're, our, route is, our route isn't set in stone, and we wanna go through the best get the most out of our, our tour here. Yeah, so, that's right. So we can move, we can adjust things. We really wanted to see Santa Fe, but it might be the roads getting there. May not There may not be any quiet back roads that we want to ride on. <clears throat> so, I don't know. And all the national parks are probably really busy this time of year because it's finally, the temperature's a little bit cooler than it would be in the summertime. That's right. So yeah. it's attracting a lot of people down here. So, and there's a lot of, yeah, a lot of tourism right now. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so we have some things to consider. We've got some things about. to consider. Okay, here we are cutting up our world famous using a spork is all we brought. It doesn't even have all the the teeth on it. So it's but it's cutting. Can't wait to see what it looks like inside. I know. It smells really good. I have to say it definitely smells like it's the best melon I've ever had. Here they are. I'll give it a try here. I'll be I'm gonna be an honest judge of this melon. Here we go. You're leaving us in suspense. I gotta have two. Well, when they say the world's best, you know, you gotta be... It's Wait. it's pretty good. It's good. I, I don't... <laughs> I don't want to be a harsh critic or anything, but... Not quite as good as the ones you have in your garden? I don't know yet. I haven't tried the ones in the garden. Okay. But... I mean, these are good. They're really good. But I'm not sure if I would say world's best. I would say maybe there's a, we're, we're kind of out of, they're, they're kind of out of season right now. They're really good for being towards the end of the season, I guess. Well, I'm gonna stop now because okay. I have to taste it. We need to try yours. Yeah. Come okay. try it. I'm stopping the camera. I'm gonna eat it. Now that, Mr. Wildberry, is the desert. Are you ready for today's uh, ride? I'm so ready. You got your bike packed up? All packed up. So.